As I'm sure you're aware, this video is made possible by the EA Game Changers. Here we are then, finally, a Formula One game mode that's named after where I'm at with my YouTube career. Breaking Point is, <laughs> is, uh, is, is a, new, uh, it's a new game mode where you take on the role of Aiden Jackson as he faces against Casper Ackerman and rival Devon Butler in this action-packed story experience. Let's dive in then, and... Oh, oh, we've got options. Okay. Uh, newcomers, but suitable for all assist level. Challenging offers... But recommended for players comfortable with using fewer assists. Hard for those seeking... Well, we're not going anywhere near that, let's be honest. Challenging or normal? We'll go with normal. Okay, what team should we be? Let's be let's be Aston Martin, and we'll start as uh, as Racing Point. They'll all be feeling the pressure right now, none more so than young Aidan Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula One, and with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Okay, so this is going to be fairly uh, seat-of-the-pants stuff here, and I suspect I'm going to have to hold on to some sort of position. Okay, Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. I'm doing great, apparently. I've, I've not even turned the wheel yet, and we're doing great. Okay, it's two laps. Finish first. Well, oh, heaven forbid. Right, well, no, I'm sorry. We... <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll just forget that. We'll etch that one from the history books. This F2 car proving slightly more difficult to handle than we anticipated. So I've got to finish. I'm absolutely terrified to put the power down now because... Um, because... Oh, well, that man there is going incredibly slow. Oh, he's a bat marker. There was I thinking I'm some sort of Lewis Hamilton within two corners, and he's a back marker. Oh, for heaven's sake. I can't drive the car. These F2 cars, by the way, aren't for the inexperienced. I can tell you that much. But Nicholas Latifi here is going to be gobbled up by the inexperienced now. Magnificent stuff. I've gone wrong there. That's not that's not great. This really isn't an exhibition in in high quality driving, but let's be honest, you can get that elsewhere. I'm sh I'm sure this is one of about 17 million breaking point videos which have gone up. This of course is the uh, is the old layout for Abu Dhabi now. We have a new one on the way, so uh, watch this space. I'm sure the uh, the announcement was greeted with rapturous applause in the Codemasters office when uh, when they had yet another track that they needed to, uh, to, to update. Well, it's looking like a P1 hysteria in the F2 paddock is about to take place because the checkered flag is out for Aidan Jackson to come home. Oh. And the crowd can barely believe it. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. <laughs> Quick thumbs up there from the team principal. Yep, oh, yeah, I've got my eye on you. Right, several months later, the Australian Grand Prix. What assumes I have been picked for racing point yeah here we go Aiden now you've made the leap to Formula One no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race to be honest with you Will it hasn't really quite sunk in yet the team has given me a fantastic opportunity it's a once in a lifetime a dream come true so to answer your question I feel like a little kid I look around and... Lando Norris so doesn't want to be there, does he? You know? 
Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> oh, oh, but assault. Right, so shots have already been fired in the direction of my rival. I'm in F1 and I've only got 30,000 followers. Well, I have to say I'm... Um, I am appalled. Okay, so here we are. The Australian Grand Prix with nine laps remaining. Here we go then. Right, catch up to Ackerman before lap 11. The pressure is on then. We have five laps to, uh, to reel in Ackerman. The problem with this series is that to drive well to overtake people, I'm going to have to concentrate. And to concentrate... If I concentrate, it means that what's coming out of my mouth isn't going to be that interesting. In fact, it might not even be any... Right, well, we can't have that, can we? We're going to have to just stop. I'm going to have to... This is going to make for a really poor series, to be, <laughs> to, be, to be quite honest with you, because I'm going to be spending so much time concentrating to get the maximum. Ackerman's miles away. How the hell can I be expected to catch him up? Right, this is surely going to be an absolute gazumping. I very, very nearly lost it then. Very nearly. That was a horrible collision. Get out of the way, Ricardo. Give me DRS, man. Give me everything. I need everything. Right, you have been absolutely eaten alive. Oh, it's amazing what a bit of concentration and corner cutting can achieve. Very nearly forgot about the braking zone there. Parked my car on Casper's apex. And there was no way he was going to get through. Ackerman is just down the road. What the hell? What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been. But there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Oh, my. Oh, my life. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Drama. Absolute drama. Oh, there's been. Oh, it's a massive crash. Oh dear. It's a very red face for me. Ackerman is out. I've sent my teammate into the bin and in doing so, I've lost my team a lot of points. There's going to be there's going to be a fallout in the debrief room, let's put it that way. Well, I may have absolutely shafted my teammate, but uh I'm catching up to Butler and Norris. Annoyingly, Butler's got DRS, of course, because uh, Norris is ahead of him. Flirted with an audacious one round the outside there, but not to be. Oh, I'm on the sausage curb. That is not ideal, and that could be that. That has cost me a lot of time. The sausage has cost me dearly. And I'm going to come home with nil poids in terms of points and probably an absolute rollicking from my team principal. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. Won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm. How did they? Ever oh, sign it's a, oh, it seems. Bit of handbags. Oh, Butler. I'm um, Devon. I didn't see you there. I walked like out on the track today. You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. 
you cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. God, Devon is such an ass. That is so unnecessary. I just want, I want to punch him already. Does anyone else want to give him a smack? What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> He's such an ass, man. God, he's got a, such a punchable face. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Racing Point were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Thanks, Devin. Oh, that's really unkind. Don't be like Devon, people. Don't be like Devon. And we shall leave it there. Well, I think the scene has been set rather well. Devon, Butler, is not a very nice individual. And we've upset our teammate, a Ackerman, straight away. Who knows where it will go from here. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.